Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. Here's what we have in store for you on this June 27th, 2013 edition. Tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News. What? Legal guns are actually saving lives and diminishing crime? Obama's own report destroys his push for gun control. Plus, Russia evacuates all personnel from Syria. Is it open season for the CIA? Then, five million people violated under the stop and frisk program. Enough is enough. All that and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Top story headline, Jokar Zarnayev charged with murder in Boston bombings. I'm sure that's no surprise to anyone. A federal grand jury in Boston has returned a 30-count, 30 30-count 30 indictment against Jokar Zarnayev, charging him with three deaths in the April 15th Boston Marathon bombings and the killing of a campus police officer. The charges included a, uh, using a weapon of mass destruction and also the use of a firearm resulting in death. Zarnayev faces a possible death sentence if convicted and is, and is scheduled to be arranged July 10th. So... Uh, like I said, it's no surprise to anybody this guy would be charged. It's just, you know, what would he be charged with? They did go ahead with the weapons of mass destruction. And, you know, it's just not the Zarnayev brothers. It's the, you know, the other guy, the accomplice, the boxer guy, the MMA guy who got shot by the FBI, the, uh, the accomplices or the younger brother. And I'm not saying any or all these guys are innocent or guilty, but it's just, you know, this all-consuming thing. It just went so far beyond the two brothers and their initial acts. So uh, we'll see what happens in, in this case. And I definitely would like some things to come to light such as where the footage is of these guys actually planting the bombs, uh, why these guys, uh, other guys with the Punisher hats, the Punisher logo hats, are walking around with bombs or, excuse me, backpacks that look pretty much identical to the ones that the bomb was actually said to be in. Things such as that I hope would come out in this case, but I would not be surprised at all if they didn't. We'll move on now to this analysis. Russia evacuates Syrian naval base, and why would they do such a thing? In an interview with Al Hayat newspaper, Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Baganov said, Presently, the Russian Defense Ministry has not a single person stationed in Syria. The base does not have any strategic military importance. Russia Today had a similar statement, and it goes down to the social media buzz. The two primary opinions among commentators are that Russia has scrambled to abandon Syria and or that, as a result, the green light has been given for possible intervention by other state actors, specifically America and its allies. Now, Russia has been a hotbed for, uh, not, excuse me, not Russia, but uh, Syria has been a hotbed, you know, the situation, the Obama administration giving arms to these Syrian rebels, uh, you know, the conflicts with Israel and so forth. So I'm not exactly sure why they would uh, make such a statement to Russia. I'd either think, A, they're lying about pulling all their people out, or B, they really did pull all their people out because they think a situation is very, uh, not just possible, possible, but imminent. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens on this. Why would they evacuate a whole naval base is uh, pretty fishy to me. So we'll find out soon enough. We'll move on to this. Why didn't Snowden go through proper channels to blow the whistle? Well, many other people have, and that really didn't seem to help at all. Numerous whistleblowers have tried to go through the, quote, proper channels to expose illegal spying by the NSA and other government agencies but nothing changed in response to their lawful attempts. For example, when NSA whistleblower Thomas Drake tried to blow the whistle on fraud and corruption within the NSA, based on the NSA's spying on all Americans instead of targeting only specific criminals, he was pro excuse me, prosecuted under the Espionage Act. And it goes on to say from him, he says, you're identified as someone they don't like, someone that cannot be trusted, and that was from Mr. Drake. And there are many other whistleblowers who have blown the whistle through the quote proper channels. You remember uh, the ATF, I guess it was about a year ago, the head of the ATF came out with that very Orwellian statement saying that, hey, if you have a problem, you need to talk to us. You need to talk, don't talk to anybody else. We're going to put our big face on the teller screen. You come talk to us if you have an issue. Don't go anyplace else. And of course, when you talk to the proper channels, you either get fired, you get disappeared, or, you know, just nothing happens in general. And that's the situation we have right here. So, why somebody wouldn't go through the proper channels is no surprise to me. You probably need to go through some other channel just to get your message heard. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. 
You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.